I got an iPhone for one reason. To load a birdsong application and use it as a miniature collar for nearly any North American bird species. I've always got my phone with me, and today in thick timber along the river, I spotted a big tree hole with a gray feather that made me think screech owl. These little owls nest and roost in such places, so I pulled out the iPhone and gave it a shot. The whinny-like call of the screech owl often attracts a mob of small birds that count it as a nesting enemy. A white-breasted nuthatch showed up, looking for the perpetrator. I was filming it when a flash caught my eye, and a red phase owl suddenly appeared in the dense brush nearby. In 20 years of using a screech owl tape, this was the first time I've had a screech owl respond in daylight. The bird sat in a tangle of branches nearly impossible to film. I had to shoot my camera freehand to find any opening, which resulted in lots of confusing motion. Right away, the little owl was somewhat preoccupied as scolding birds flitted around it. That gave me a chance to move several steps, mount the camera on a tripod, and steady things up for some excellent film. The small raptor was fearless and I eventually got within about 15 feet as I continued to play the iPhone electronic screech owl voice. Ten minutes passed and the woods quieted down. I found one decent clear shot to the subject and that provided the best screech owl footage I've ever gotten since all the rest on this subject was taken at night with lights. In all, I filmed it for about 20 minutes from a solid support. Now something like that really makes your day. I'm Mike Blair in the Kansas Outdoors. Mm -hmm.